right everybody here we go this is how to grow kale and uh, I got these as uh, starters you can buy them for about whatever two or three bucks not too much but I have four of those and uh, today is Memorial Day we're just starting them just now I live up here in Ashland Wisconsin so pretty cold climate this plant should be perfect for that we'll give you an update soon. Hi everybody um, it's June 15th um, summer doesn't start for another six days but you know, I just want to give you a quick update. There's our kale. Stay out of there. Ah. All right, everybody. Just wanted to show you really quick um, what I made. I made a, a tea basically from uh, some rotted manure, uh, composted manure that I have. And I can show you these nice chunks here. And uh, that'll be a good drink for your plants. Good stuff right there. I, I June 30th on the kale. Um, I've actually been harvesting the kale already. And uh, it's going to come all summer long and hopefully into the fall too. So we'll keep you up to date, June 30th. All right, everybody, quick update. It is uh, June 30th, it's about eight o'clock at night. There's Alex. And uh, basically what we've done is we're putting some brand new uh, compost soil, mixing it up on our plants. Our soil's pretty rough, so um, helps keep the uh, stem stable a little bit more and uh, just supply some more nutrients to the plant. So we like to do this a couple times throughout the growing process. How are you guys doing over here? Oh, that's so, what I was uh, gonna do. I was gonna show kale. the kale. All right, we just cut a big bag of kale already. Uh, it's June 30th. Well, it's been eaten a little bit, a little but... Bit. There we are. So we got, we got uh, a, a Walmart bag full. Stuff. Yeah. And I put some new soil in with our kale here just to keep it going so that's kind of what they look like we've chopped a little bit off but they look great up on top um, all these these big ones here they're gonna we're gonna be harvesting those soon too yeah. so we got a long ways to go beautiful kale July 28th there's Miss Savannah it's roaming around the garden kale oh these just look good all right the kale these are really monster kale now. Um, as you can see from the stalks there, we've harvested several times. And uh, we really can't eat even, even eat enough of it. We give it away to our neighbors sometimes. And they are just getting bigger and bigger. Like I say, when you harvest that, I'm going to show you on this one here, we've harvested many. And the new ones come out on top, and they just get... All right, August 15th. i got to show you guys the, the, the kale one more time here. Like I say, August 15th, my wife just harvested a lot of kale. We got two Walmart sized bags of kale. And as you can see, they're, you know, now they look really tall. We, we got a lot off there, but, you know, just look at the heads on these things. These things are going to keep producing. All right, so there's Savannah right in front of the kale. And as you can see, the kale is right about at the top of her head. And about two and a half feet so far. Looking really good. Thought we'd buzz around the garden really quick here. It's September 9th, so most people's gardens up here up north are really ending. And ours are just flourishing. So here's we got the uh, winter boar kale. And as you can see, it's just looking awesome. There's Miss Savannah. So right, let's go, everybody. This um, just harvesting some uh, kale. Really nice leaves of kale, and I'm going to show you a really quick, easy recipe how to make kale chips. All right, so here we so go. What we're doing here is we uh, lay the kale down like this, and basically we're just taking this big rib out right here. All right, here we go. Inside right there. The smaller pieces, you can keep them or just throw them out, whatever. Beautiful. All right, so we're gonna do them all like that, and then I'll show you what to do next. So here's our kale, and basically all we're gonna do is a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Okay, drizzle it on there. Make sure they're all coated, and then we're gonna use some uh, kosher salt, which is basically just a little bit bigger. I can show you to you really quick here. Go. We're gonna sprinkle that. Okay, we got our uh, kale all oiled up with uh, extra virgin olive oil and just sprinkling some salt on top. 
Um, we'll toss that once and we'll probably sprinkle just a little bit more just to you know, play it by ear on the salt, not too much. And then, um, oh yeah, the oven, 350 degrees, preheat that. All right, so we tossed this all up. Change the battery pack, okay. All right, we got the uh, kale chips going. And what you want to, what you're looking for is you want them to be nice and crispy. Um, they're gonna take a little bit. As you can see, you can kind of see some moisture in there. They are getting crispy though. They're getting there. So once they're crispy, just like a potato chip, then they're done. So they've been in there about, oh, six minutes already. We're gonna keep them in there a little bit longer. All right, here's the kale chips and they're just out of the oven. I would say that took about six to seven minutes. And uh, eight to 10 maybe. Eight to 10? Yeah. Basically what you're looking for when you pick these up, they're real crispy, just like, basically like chips. And uh, if you need to season them a little bit more, that's fine. You see they're darkened and uh, charred a little bit. Beautiful, so. We're just gonna set them down on some wax paper and some paper towel, and then we're gonna... All right, kale chips. Got my son Alex here. He's gonna try a kale chip for the very first time. Kind of like a potato chip. They're a little bit salty. So Alex, go ahead and let her rip. Give her a try. How you doing so far? <laughs> kale. Uh, kale chips are awesome, buddy. I'll eat that for you. It's like dog wants some. Uh, 